Tip Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Look a lot like Christmas. This ain't Christmas. Something is it? I tell you what, though, it, it felt like Christmas last night. It was so cold out. Yeah, it's very cold right now, today, yeah. outside. Like 30 ish. Ish. Mm. ish. All right, everybody, we're going to get right into it. It is December 7th, episode 72 of our 72 episode long Monday Friday. Uh, my name is Joe Flanagan. I'm your Rec Tech Girls expert. This is Chef Greg Muller, our Director of Culinary Innovation. Uh, last week we did gourmet burgers. We did four of them. We did, in fact, we did the uh, mushroom Swiss burger. We replaced some of that ground beef with ground mushrooms. We fooled Didn't Harry. Didn't Harry ate the mushroom burger. He didn't even realize it. Didn't even realize it. We had the butter burgers, the steakhouse burgers, and then Country Club. God love them. Yep. Not, yep. Yep. not so successful with the, Poor guy. the, the BFB burger. What was that? A two and a half pound two, patty? It was a five pound five burger. Pound five burger. pound burger. He he ate just over two and a half pounds. Yeah. But um. But he didn't. He didn't win. There was an involuntary reflux in the parking lot later on that. Yeah, I think he gave up and uh, went outside. It gave up on him. And lost it through it, his mouth. It did, in fact. <laughs> and it looked. Yeah. Country club, we love you. It's a lot of beef. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys uh, watched the stories or saw behind the scenes stuff, you saw him chowing down on that. Uh, make sure you follow us on all platforms of social media. Today is National Illinois Day, so shout out to all of our Illinois uh, family. If you're from Illinois, make sure you do give us a big shout out uh, so we can call your name out. Uh, it's also Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Uh, so we, of course, are observing that with everyone today. Uh, this episode, along with every other Fun Day Friday episode, has been uploaded to YouTube, and every week uh, we'd like to give away a Rectech prize pack, and the way that you can do that is watch the whole episode on YouTube. Uh, this week's winner with a correct answer of 25 minutes and 51 seconds is Mr. Rodney Lehman. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Rodney. Uh, you can email Madeline at rectechgirls.com. That's made line, M-A-D-E, L-I-N-E, at rectechgirls.com. Uh, we also have a caption this contest every week. My paper was gone. Tuesday. This was our picture. Serious face, Jody. Very cool. Very cool. And then the caption that won, it was Mr. Derek Kurtz. Uh, that moment when you realize that fart is a shart. <laughs> Everybody in the office found that very, very humorous. I did not. Congratulations, Derek. You can... Uh, Email Maidline, M A D E L I N E, at rectangles.com. Uh, congratulations. But again, we do that every Tuesday. So make sure you follow us on all platforms of social media. This week's episode is going to be how to make beef ribs. These are beef plate ribs. Beef plate ribs and seafood paella, yes. which everybody has been asking for. Uh, and we are so excited to be able to introduce that to you. Um, it's just so much nicer now that we have got gloves on. It's not so cold. Yeah, these gloves are amazing. Did you know, also, Ooh. they are also available at rectechgirls.com in two stylish sizes, large and extra large. Yes, if you have medium hands, the largest will fit. Yes, if you wear a double X in glove, yes, the extra largest will fit. I'm a... Uh, Textured fingertips. I'm about to say, I'm easy a Easy donning. Thing. Easy donning. I never like thought I would use tip. the word donning, but these are very easy donning. So these are available at rectechgirls.com. We encourage you to go live the rec tech lifestyle and purchase these. Very stylish. This is the only thing we use literally every day when we cook. I think we have a yes, Boss Man Ben? I have a question. Is it true mm. what OJ said? If the glove doesn't fit, are you all full of... Never mind. Aww. 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 We are full of something, but I don't know if that's it. <laughs> so today we're going to be smoking these beef plate ribs, and we're going to be making a plate rib a la Oscar. So what wait a second. Do, wait, what'd you say? We're gonna be doing plate rib a la Oscar. So normally you say filet a la Oscar or eggs Benedict a la Oscar. So basically we're gonna smoke these bad boys. We started them last night at 9:30. So if you followed me home in this morning and you saw them, they were delicious. They smelled amazing. We're also gonna smoke some Alaskan king crab legs. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Alaskan king crab legs. Buddy. So we're gonna put the crab over top of this. We're gonna smother it all in béarnaise sauce. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be ridiculous. So a la Oscar means covered in crab and smothered in béarnaise. Essentially, yes. Yeah. So anything can be a la Oscar. I can Oscar. speak French now. You can have veal a la Oscar. It's really delicious. But not many people are gonna put a. Uh, three no, they're and not half gonna do beef a la Oscar. With... No, for sure. No, not these so much. are beef plate ribs, guys. Yep. Uh, a lot of you email us, call us all the time. Where do I get those ginormous dino ribs from? Right well, here. You, most of the time you can't get them at your local grocery store. You're going to have to order them through a butcher. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes... And you can you ask. Can if ask. you go to the butcher, too, if these are cut nice and thin, or like this. So we those made those, short ribs. those calbee beef. That's where that comes from. Calbee so beef short ribs. That recipe is uh, uses on our website. This little and we piece. actually used the thin slice of this. Or you see them sometimes that they're cut thick, single bone, and they're cut into larger braising Ugh. short ribs. I hate that. So go to the meat counter. It makes me so mad. Give the butcher a six pack of really nice beer, okay, and say, Look, when you get some of these, yeah, don't cut it. I just want the whole thing. I just want the whole thing. thing. The whole beef plate rib. Please, thing. butcher. Please, Jeff. The whole thing. <clears throat> it's going to be amazing. They're going to, I mean, you see the marbling on these things? I mean, they're absolutely incredible. My buddy Jim Haddon, who his family raises cows, says this is the worst piece of meat on the whole cow. I think it's mm -hmm. the best piece of meat. I do too. But look at that marbling in there. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's going to take about six to seven hours at about 250 to render these down. Mm -hmm. That's normally what temperature I cook it at. Yep. We went a little um, slower last night just so they go a little bit longer. So we bumped it down to 225 and we went about eight to ten hours. But again, set the grill temp for your schedule. People ask That's me right. all the time, well, how do you do pulled pork? Depends when I want to eat. Yeah, it depends on how, yeah, how much time we have, for sure. If we're eating it that night, maybe I put it on at 12 o'clock in the afternoon at 350 and I'm done in five hours. Or if we're eating it in the afternoon, I'll put it on low and slow overnight. Yeah. Just kind of depends. That's right. But That's in right. the paella, we're going to do uh, some shrimp, some scallops, Ooh, some yes. lobster. Ooh. What else? Come on, give me some more stuff. Name some more things. things. Really good. Um, some sausage. We're going to have some sausage mm -hmm. there as a base. We're going to make our, our sofrito, if you will. What? It's our, it's, our, it's our seasoning base. Sofrito. And uh, to make it extra delicious, we've got some saffron here. So chime in below if you know where saffron comes from. I'm curious. I know, I know our... Rec techers are pretty affluent when it comes to being a I know it's pretty experience. very expe experienced foodies. Saffron. Where does the saffron come from? Saffron's mad about me. Da, 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 da. Nah, I'm yeah. just mad about uh, but, uh, the real reason why you guys are probably watching is probably because you want to know who the seven winners of the uh, rec uh, giveaway of Matador a Day contest whoa, that we have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Did you just say we're giving a Matador away a day? So the only what? way that you can enter to win a Matador a day, which we've already picked seven winners, and then 31 minus seven is the remaining amount of winners that we have to pick, right? 24. That's why he's a chef. Numbers guy. Um, <laughs> but we have 24 more winners to pick. The way you enter is that you post a picture on social media, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Any picture. What? Come on, talk to me. Nothing, Matty. Nothing. I'm just going to say, you know, we're encouraging everybody to sign up on the newsletter That's to right. find right. out how to win. That's right. So you sign up on the newsletter. Jody's being generous. You go to rectechgirls.com, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then you put in your email address. That way, you will get an email from us telling you how to win. That's right. Um, but the way you enter that is you first go to rectechgirls.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, enter your email, <laughs> and then you post a picture on social media with the hashtag Rectech Christmas as well as tagging Rectech Girls. That is the only way that you will be able to enter. Now, if you go to social media and you post a picture and you use hashtag Rectech Christmas and you tag us in it, thank you so much, but you did not enter. You did not enter. We're not picking your name. I promise. If you go to my page and you hash, use hashtag Rectech Christmas to tag Rectech Girls in all of my posts, I, we're definitely not picking you. So all the people that are doing that, I love you, but quit doing it. <laughs> all right? Uh, but stay tuned. I'm not going to let you know what segment we're going to announce the winners, uh, but we're going to announce seven lucky people that won a uh, Matador. It's awesome. Hands down, the best gas wok cooker you could buy on the market, hands down. We're making uh, paella today. And we're making paella in it. We've got some awesome announcements for you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking, hey, where do you get those tools for the Matador at? Hey, I, I saw a Matador lid. Where'd you get that? Mm -hmm. Hey, how do you guys clean your Matador? What tool do you use to use that? Well, we'll tell you later where we get those things and where you can find them, okay? Um, 
We'll be back in 30 minutes. We're not going to tell you what time. It'll be exactly 30-ish minutes. 15 minutes? What do you want? We'll be at 12. Live at 12. We'll see you at the rec tent. With Saffron. Saffron. I'm just mad about Tune in on Twitter, folks. Saffron's mad about me. They're live on Twitter. They're live on Twitter. I'm just mad about Saffron. What's in the drink? Baby, it's cold outside. What did you put in my drink? Hold on, Why are you making me stay here? Baby, it's cold <laughs> outside. Half Dome, California wheat, stone fruit beer. Thank you, Barbecue Queen, for Baby, sending that to us. Baby, it's cold outside. It's actually pretty tasty. It's not the exact But it's a good representation. Baby, it's cold outside. Don't, don't. You need the other one. Look at all these clam yeah, the lobsters. Yeah. Baby, it's cold it's outside. Sloppy. Shrimp, it looks like this, but it's king crab and flavor. We got clams, and mm -hmm. scallops, and lobsters, and crab and shrimp. Oh my! Oh my! Chef, you cook these in a pellet grill? You can cook crab. anything. I know you're not gonna cook this in a pellet grill, but could you cook it in a we're, pellet grill? We're gonna put cook that in a pellet grill. Sweet. Baby, it's cold outside. Cool. So we're gonna get kind of so started. We get the party started. Uh, I do want to make everybody aware of our awesome staff picks page on the website. So you go to our website, rectechgirls.com. You go to Shop Rectech. You scroll all the way down. It says Shop Picks. You hit that, and we've got links to awesome things that you can use with your Rectech, like this. Uh, this is a, a bamboo whisk that we actually recommend you cleaning your matador with. There's also your Chon. Your Chon. There's also a Hoke. Uh, we, we actually have the link to both tools that we use regularly on the matador there. In the staff picks. In the staff picks. So to get this party started, I've got a couple pounds. We of also got four chef starts. Matador lids. Oh, snap. I can get a leg for my matador. What? I can make paella. Go to rectechgirls.com. Go to staff picks. So I got a couple pounds. Sorry, uh, that was fun. <laughs> of spicy sausage. And all this recipe is online for our fantastic moderator if they want to uh, put it out there for us. We want to get some good color on here. What kind of sausage is that, Chef? So this is going to be some andouille, but you could use merguez. You could use your favorite sausage. You don't want to use uh, breakfast, right? No, not really. But we want to get some good color, and we're, we're going to build some flavor here. And this is where we want to be tasty. Because the difference between a really good paella and a paella starts right here. So if you don't build all that flavor from the bottom up, you're just going to have soggy fish rice. And that's not paella. I like fish rice, but it ain't paella. We're gonna, we'll let this get good and caramelized. That fat's gonna come out of that sausage and get nice and crispy. We're gonna hit it with some onions, some peppers, some garlic. Trinity. So, we're gonna put this in there. So comment down below if you know what that is. Uh, da, 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 the secret da, da, element da, da, to a uh, paella. Da, 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 da. It's so expensive. And there's been some questions here if you look. That's not burning. That metal is is becoming seasoned. And there's no crust there. It's nice and smooth. That's what you want, guys. You That's don't want to clean want. that off. Now, do you scratch that pan by using that tool? I do not. No. That's a stainless steel tool? No scratch. So it's not going to scratch the stainless steel pan. No scratch. Oh, my God. That's already amazing. Yeah. Oh, I just like the warmth this is putting off. It's kind of it's kind of cold outside. Maybe it's cold outside. And then here's another tool that we like to use. It's a large ladle called a uh, chon. Oh, 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 that's a chon. So I like the way this is coming. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my onion. And my bell pepper. My three favorite foods. And I'm going to hold off on the garlic for just a second. Don't want it to burn, right, Chef? Bingo. So if I put the garlic in there and I get some color on my vegetables and I burn my garlic, this is all going to taste better. It's going to be rrrr. How we say in the South. It's going to be rrrr. And then you got to start it over. you got to start it all over. And that's no good. So we're going to let this go for about five minutes and we'll be patient. So over here... Come on over here. Follow us over here. We're going to trim these beef ribs up. And again, we've got this on like a medium-high heat. 
We're not walking away to the kitchen. The matador is right there. The biggest chef tip for the matador is don't go away. So have a sidekick. We talk about our plate ribs. There's a couple things. So unlike the pork, you don't have to take this off the back. Okay, it's mostly fat that if you wanted to, you can peel it off. Um, I'm kind of disturbed in the fact that I don't mind eating this. When it renders off and gets kind of crispy, I kind of like it. Yeah, no, that's so, my, uh, that's my uh, take on it, Chef. I kind of like leaving it. I kind of like it, too. So you don't have to take it up. If you want to, by all means, take it off. It will take just a little bit longer, of course, to cook. No big deal. And you'll see there's some fat and silver skin on the top. We want to get that silver skin off. So just take a nice, sharp knife and just trim that silver skin off. Okay? And look at all that marbling right there. Like, These are some beautiful, beautiful beef plate ribs that you got, Chef. We can throw meat at people now and they can't get mad at us. And you can generally, you know, just cook these like a brisket, right? Sure can. We'll uh, rub it down with some mustard. We'll put some rub on it. Salt, pepper, garlic, pretty much. And again, it just depends on how patient you want to be. If you want to go 225, cool. Take a little bit longer. You want to go 250, take a little bit less. Um, and they actually benefit, honestly, from a little bit of a higher temp because there's right. a lot of fat in here. Yep. So you want to render that fat out. You want to crisp it up. You want it to be super, super squishy. You want to take it off. You want it to melt. So we'll get all up in here, almost poked Facebook there. And then last night, uh, you actually trimmed off some of this, uh, and then you and Brett, our front of the house guy, actually ate it raw. We did, yeah, with a little bit of sea salt. It's sure really, really cool. Chef was very impressed uh, of the cut and freshness of this meat, and he just shaved off two thin slices, coated it with some sea salt, ate it right away. Brett who is super picky like Harry, absolutely he Chick -fil -A. enjoyed it. He only eats Chick-fil-A. He, he was like, he was blown away at how good it was. But again, fresh. And shout out to my beautiful wife who's calling me right now. Hey, Becky. Hey, Becky, love you. Sorry I can't answer right now, babe. She's not watching Facebook. No, that's, it's disappointing. It's, it's disheartening. <laughs> Julie doesn't watch either. No, She's okay. like, you know what? I see you enough. So shout out to all those people watching right now. We love you. We thank you for watching. Our wives don't even watch, but you're watching right now, and we love you for it. Yeah. So again, we got that marbling right here. Look at how beautiful That's that absolutely is. amazing. Jeez, Ooh, wait. Wait. It's good. It's delicious. Right into it. That's how you know it's good. So I'm okay with the way this looks. Yep. I like that. A little bit of mustard on there. And again, this is going to melt down. And, and it's not that hard, that super hard fat that, you know, you would find on the brisket, guys. It's that squishy stuff. It's the squishy stuff. So. And again, it's looking good over there. <laughs> but yeah, man, I am excited about that staff picks page on the website. There are so many cool things on there I'm that we've been telling people to go get, but we really just couldn't. Uh, we've got that big injector. I'll use that later. Yeah, that Christmas. awesome injector uh, that we use is on there, guys. The Chops injector, my personal favorite. My Shun brisket knife is on there. Isn't that label on there as well that you're using? That absolutely. Yeah, we were telling folks earlier when you were going to get this little guy that we've got these as a set on there. So make sure you go to rectechgirls.com today and check out the staff fit. There's also a spork on there mm -hmm. for those guys. Like my boy Andy Colbert, who likes to climb up a mountain with this thing and cook on it. There's actually a spork, a tactical spork, uh, that has, it's a tool that's also a spoon and a fork. Super cool. Check it out. So that's looking pretty tasty. It's good to add our garlic. Right. Look at that. Bam! Fresh chopped garlic Wait, right there. somebody else. Oh, yeah. Uh, wham! Wham! Can we do wham? Or whammy! George Michael has wham. Whammy! So, once we smell that garlic, God, that's just I mean, this is just amazing on anything. This literally could be a meal for you guys. Throw this on some rice. It's absolutely amazing. Now we're going to take our saffron. What was it? Wait a second. So this We is, didn't even tell them what it is yet. So this is the male reproductive organ of a flower. More specifically, the pistil of the crocus flower. What? You'll learn this stuff all day long. You this said is pistil? Pistil. Pistil. The most expensive spice in the world. So these are hand harvested by little hands. Tiny. Baby. So we want to bloom that saffron. So we're going to hit, that's about like $700 of saffron. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Probably about $70 of saffron. Is that really about $70 of saffron? Uh, yeah, probably, uh, it's up there. Probably about $40. Seriously. Okay. Okay. 
It was five hundred something dollars an ounce. Five hundred and sixteen dollars and eighteen cents an ounce. So we're gonna hit this with some dirty girl. So this would be dirty saffron. We're gonna add some crushed tomatoes. <laughs> Guys, I wish we had smell of vision. It smells friggin' fire right We're going to add a bottle of white wine. Don't do it to him, chef. A Ooh. bottle. What kind of white wine? It's a Chardonnay. Why do you like Chardonnay, chef? Why do I like Chardonnay? Because I like drink Chardonnay. Well, you, you said yesterday because it's not sweet. That's no. why he likes to cook with Chardonnay. That is true. It was actually empty when I did that. Yeah, so it's not overly sweet. It's got some good acidity, some good sweetness. Um, but it's not overly sweet. It correct? is not. And then we're going to add some chicken stock. And then we're going to bring this to a simmer. Simmer down now. And then we're going to allow this to develop flavors and get just crazy tasty. And then oh we'll, what we'll do is when we come back, we'll finish that up. But in the meantime, you want to rub down those ribs yeah, some mustard? Yeah, rub down the ribs really, really quick. Super simple, guys. Just like your brisket, just like your pork butts. Put you some Dijon mustard or yeller, yeller mustard. And one of my favorite rubs right that I there. like for that with beef is the Savannah River Rub. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper, good, thick, crispy. Go ahead and hit this. And make sure you hit all sides of it, guys. Whee! All sides of it. And that mustard acts as a binder, correct? Show sure enough is. That's right. You're not, and if you don't like mustard, you're not going to be able to taste it. Ready to start you. You're getting it, you want to get it all over. And again, you can use a spicy horseradish mustard. You don't have to use Dijon. You can use whatever the you Vince want. The Ben's Heifer Dust is great on this, guys. We're using the Savannah River Rub right now. Uh, that's sold at rectechgrills.com uh, as a combo pack. It's two of the uh, thirteen ninety eight with for both spices. It's the Georgia the twenty eighteen edition of the Academy Rubs. We're almost out of them, guys. If you're thinking about them, you want them. Uh, if you like them and you want to reorder, I would go ahead and order now because they are not coming back. Let's take a look at what these look like after oh, a couple hours. Oh snap! So if we look at our tips, thanks to our white belt Wi-Fi controller, we're just at two hundred degrees. Wait, eight. chef. Wait, chef. We're running a little late. Let's tease them, make them come back and look at it. All right. Nope, wait. Come here, ready? Oh, you missed oh. it. Oh. Oh. We'll be going live on Twitter. Jump uh, on Twitter. We'll here. You ready? Live on Twitter, you guys, guys ready? You guys ready? Mm, just oh, oh, open it really slow and I'll end it. Guys, come back. We're going to announce those winners We're of the Matador. the winners and you'll get to see. Christmas party episode. We got a bunch of our family here. Uh, Margie, Ron's beautiful wife, and Deanna, our comptroller. So good. Hey, hey got y'all. We got everybody coming in for the Christmas party. We're super excited. Uh, you guys know we're a huge family here, and uh, it's great seeing folks that you don't get to see most of the year. Uh, so we're having a good time here in Augusta. Chef, let's get going. We, we, we got right, a bunch of stuff start, to do. Let's, let's get some right. So, you might not have known, okay? You, you might not know, and that's okay. But the Matador pan. Oh, are you serious right now? Fits in the bullseye. Whoa, Holy whoa. crap. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to. Oh my gosh, it fits right in the bullseye? It fits right in there. We're going to get our rice in for the paella. Jeez, a cracker. I didn't even know this shit. Woo! So what kind of rice was that specifically? That short grain rice. It's going to be short grain yeah, rice, guys. Oreo rice. Uh, they do sell a paella rice. So once we give it a stir, we're going to stop and let it kind of soak everything up. And that right there, my friends, that's it. That's it. We'll just close it up. We'll let that go for about 15 minutes. So we've got 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. So we've got a reduction right here going of white wine, shallots, and tarragon. So this was white wine, shallots, and tarragon. And we're going to cook that down to offset, which means almost dry. Okay. And then we're going to use that to make our baronets. Okay. So, so what is baronets, chef? So it is egg yolks. And I like adding a little bit of white wine into mine. Uh-huh. Because white wine is just it's just. So these are raw egg yolks. Raw Can we reheat egg yolks. this the next day? No, you definitely don't want to do that. So you want to get rid of this after day up, right? Yeah, you want to use this within a three to four hour window. So guys, when you make marinades, make sure you use all of it. Because it's use all freaking of it. delicious and you can't reuse it all of it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I've got hot butter, which we've clarified and kind of removed all the impurities out of it. And what Jody is going to do, and since this butter is nice and hot, Jody is going to drop some of this in there, nice Absolutely. and slow. Nice and slow. That's right. You want to go slow, guys. You don't want to go fast. Just drips at a time. Because you don't want to. You don't, don't want to break it. Nice and slow. 
took me about 30 seconds to pour that whole spoon out, guys. You want another one, Chef? Or you yeah, good? you can see it's getting nice and, and uh, thick, very easy. Yep. And you can fit about six to eight ounces of fat per yolk. And that's okay. And if you do it in a blender or a food processor, you can only fit two to three ounces. You see how nice and thick that's getting? Keep going, buddy. Let's make sure. We got an office to feed. We do. We got an office. An army. So this is almost dry right here. Hold on a second. Look. That's perfect right there. That's what I want. I got all that wine cooked out. The shallot's nice and smells tender. amazing. Yep. So nice and nice and slow. And about how much butter are we adding to this, show? Um, I've got six. six I've got six yolks. So we want to do about thirty ounces. And if it gets too thick, you can add a little bit of warm water to thin it. But that right there, that, that consistency looks, looks really good. good. So let's do one more ladle just to play it safe. We gotta feed people. I like playing it. I don't like playing it safe. Everybody's saying they need a matador. You need a matador, need a matador. especially if you have a bullseye. Um, just think you win one. You know what? You can win one, guys. All you have to do is sign up for our uh, email newsletter. You go to rectechrules.com, you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page where it says become an insider, put your email in there, hit subscribe and you'll be good to go, I promise. So let's hit this with some heifer dust. All right, some heifer dust. So I do want to let you know, guys, uh, we used a program to pick people randomly and there were some folks on there that weren't signed up for our newsletter that we couldn't pick. You guys submitted a picture. You put hashtag Rec Tech Christmas, you tagged us in it. We couldn't pick you because you weren't signed up for the newsletter. Sorry about that. Couldn't do it. So this doesn't break, we want to keep it warm. So what better place to put this than your hopper lid? Ha! -ha! Boom, right there. Ooh, that's warm. And we've got to smoke our crab. Smoke? We gotta smoke our crab. Hey Jody, can I get a uh, teamwork? You're gonna lift up the bowl? We're gonna smoke this at 225 for about 30 minutes. This is already cooked, so we just want to heat it up. Any time you get this, guys, it's going to be already cooked. So we've got our surf and turf going with our monster beef plate ribs. So we've, we've, we've teased you on the beef plate ribs. You saw those. We teased you on the Matador winners. I'm going to go ahead and announce the first three what? Matador winners. Oh. All right, so we've got a Matador. Giving away a matador a day. The only way for you to be able to win is sign up for the newsletter first, post a picture with hashtag Rectech Christmas and tagging us in it, and that's how you enter. So, the first three winners of a free matador. First winner is Mr. Jurgen Gardner. Yay! 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 Second winner is Mr. Jeff Barnett. Yay! Yay! Bradley Kramer. Whoa! Bradley! Jurgen's watching. Jurgen's watching. Calm down. Calm down. You have to check your email. Check your email. It will prompt you. It will give you all the information you need to know. You will be sent an email to your email. <laughs> <laughs> So, an email uh, to your email. Then you will be sent an email to your inbox. That's the way you claim your prize, okay, guys? And if you can't find now, it, check your spam or junk. If you jump. are not, if, if you physically are not Jurgen Gardner, Jeff Barnett, or Bradley Kramer, you still have a chance to win. Sign up for the newsletter, post a picture on social media, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter with the hashtag Rectech Christmas and tagging Rectech Grills in it, okay, guys? You can still win. There's 24 more Matadors we're going to give away. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Time, Jordan. So we've had, we've yeah, got our minutes. rice okay. on there for about six minutes. It's been about six minutes. So what we're going to do is these clams are going to take a little longer than the rest. So I've already washed these. So we're going to do, and you, with the clams, guys, you don't want to put any that are already open. You do not. So what we're going to do is, look at that simmer, simmer action. Go you can it. see the simmer on the outside, guys. All right, so we'll That's do what is, you want to look for. We're going to make this pretty. So we're just going to line these around. We're not going to stir anything. We're not going to do anything. Do not stir. Because what we want to do is we want to get some nice crust we're making on paella. the bottom of that pan. We're not making rice. We we're are making not. Paella. So what we'll do is we'll let this go. And when we probably during the break, so if you want to see this, you got to go on Twitter. We'll put the lobster, the scallops, and the... Uh, Shrimp. Put in those in because they cook a lot end. faster. We'll close that up. And then close this lid. That lane. pan fits perfectly. And we're sitting probably sitting pretty. six notches up, about one notch past halfway. 
and that thing is simmering and it's gonna be delicious. Woo, it's gonna be fire. All right, so we're gonna come back. At what time, uh, Jordan Johnson? We are not gonna announce that. Right? We are not gonna announce what time we're gonna come back. We're gonna set your notifications. I will announce the four additional winners that we still have to announce. Whoa, Jody. Whoa. We gotta be Whoa. quick. Uh, yeah, they might pause uh, the video. Yeah. Well, let me look at my paper here. We're also going to be eating all of the food that we made. It's gonna be absolutely <laughs> delicious. Um, but uh, if you guys do us a favor, hit the share button. Please so much. What, what's the best way to catch a show? I'll do that in the last segment. Oh, <laughs> I got a little joke for you guys. But uh, make sure you watch us live the next segment. We will be uh, telling you the four additional winners. I'll be hitting you with my dad joke, and we'll be tasting this delicious food. You may be, even see Ray and Ron. I don't know. I don't know. And then we've got another special announcement for you. It's amazing. So go ahead and sign up for the newsletter. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do 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 Chef's about to show you something. Drum roll. Oh! Wow. So that is four pounds of shrimp, four lobster tails, four pounds of scallops, three pounds of clams, unstirred, $687 worth of saffron. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. And the best part about paella is the bottom here. Okay. No. This is the secret. See, like it, it needs to get like a little crisp, crisp Just on the bottom, a crisp like on the bottom. right, right in there. That's what you want—a little golden brown in Jackson. So we're gonna go Jackson. Jackson. I just heard that too. Nah. Oh, dish up a little bit of this. Dish. Yeah. Split, split a lot with you. I will. I'll mm -hmm. split anything. You should. Split some tail. All mm. right. So split tail. We got our split crab. Tail. Split tail. Uh -huh. We got our uh -huh. crab from earlier. So again, check this out. Let's go put one of these up. Right Y'all get in here. Now, what are these? Chef? These are the sh the beef plate ribs. Oh Jesus! Uh -huh. uh, time to tip on those. We went two twenty five oh, for about eleven hours. Jesus! Look at that. So then, what you can do is this. Lord. Just go. We don't need no bone. Oh yeah, pull that bone right on over, Chef. Oh yeah. Mm. My dog would crap all over my living room floor if I gave him that. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make. We got Ray. And, we got Ray and Ron over here. I think yeah, they need to come in for this. They'll, they'll come in. They'll come over here. Tasting While time. Chef is getting that ready, I want to announce the last four winners of our Matador Day giveaway. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Cool. Are you ready? Ron, so the next winner is gonna be. Mr. Max Simpson, congratulations. Yeah, yeah man. Max. Max, what's up? Jeremy Muniz. Muniz. You want to save two for the grand finale? Okay, Jordan told me to do it, I'm gonna do it. Let's Max Simpson and Jeremy finale. Muniz, M-U-N-I-Z. Check like your Jeremy. email right Woo. now, check your inbox email right now, okay? So we got our Baronets, we can go ahead. These are gonna be the perfect lights. Oh, look what we got here, we got a co-founder. Hey. What's happening? Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. It's a big bite, but I think, uh, I can, I can do it. Shut up, Peggy Crimes. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. No, too big? You get that one. I get that oh, one. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go just fingers. Just going fingers? Holy cow, Chef. I'm sorry. Mm. 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 I work in gloves. Mm. Available at rectechrolls.com. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. That's ridiculous. Mm. That is ridiculous. Where you at, Jerry? Mm. Mm. That Baronet's. Mm. I'm gonna talk to AB and Matt. Man. Jody, looks like there's one left. You right. Nope. Well, I guess it's, well, he's got to do it, and wow. I'm going to do it. Mm. God, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, man. You got the paella? Oh so that baronet's coming in a, a jar, Chef. You can just buy that from your local grocery. Stop. No. Oh. But that recipe is available. Oh, right? oh, <laughs> <shot fire. laughs> 
No, I'm kidding. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So go ahead and let's uh, eat some paella. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. Lower tasting when it's shout out Peggy Grimes. Thank you for sending us some whiskey. Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. I want to send a shout out to Martha, the owner of PK Grills, watches all the time. Shout out Martha. We love you. Anyone want a clam? Mm. I want to get that. Cheese and fries are so good. What else we got? Shout out Scott Reiniger for bringing us some booze all the way from Indiana. We love you, Scott. Sorry I missed you, Scott. Scott's uh, father. I want to present this to you, Ray. Yeah, I've been. Thank you. I asked about that yesterday. On be Scott's Scott's behalf, behalf, Scott's father's behalf, I want to present this to Mr. Ray Carnes. Scott brought this. Uh, his dad painted that for you. I love it, man. This is going to go in my uh, cabin at the Hunt Club. For That's sure. A great picture. It looks absolutely Very beautiful. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Very love nice. It. Very nice. Shout out Will Jackson for sending us this Lagunitas. Will, you the man, thank you so much. All right, you wanna try the paella? It's got scallops right of you. Paella time. And there's some extra bernays if you need to see mm. the, uh... Mm. I'm going scalloped and... So why do uh, shrimp not like basketball, right? Mm. Mm. Why do shrimp not like basketball? I don't know, why don't they? Because they don't like the net. Ha! Ah. Oh, that ain't mm. shot. I remember the last one from uh, last week. We had hamburgers, mm. so I want to I want to hit y'all with this one. What did the hamburger say to the pickle? Mm -hmm. What did the hamburger say to the pickle? You're delicious. Yeah. Why don't watermelons get married? Oh, it's the best joke ever. You gonna take it away? No, I'm just. I'm, you gonna drop the hammer? One. Is a cantaloupe. Bam! <laughs> 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 Hitting you with that one. Alright. We want, uh, guys, we've been telling you to subscribe to the newsletter. The whole episode, we want to make sure you, that you subscribe to the newsletter. Go to rectechgirls.com, scroll all the way down to the homepage, put your email in to become an insider. And we'll let you know that we're doing the 12 Rays of Christmas this year. 12 Rays of Christmas. That's it. Don't say anything else. Okay, stop. Yeah, I just wanted to tease you with that. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. That way you know how you can participate in the 12 Rays of Christmas. Don't forget about the staff fix on our website. We have some amazing new products. That's right. The gloves. The, well, that's, that's we make those. We make those. But we've got some staff picks uh, that are links to amazing products that we use. Endorsed by Rectech. That we endorse. Absolutely. Rectech approved. We Don't forget, uh, we do a YouTube giveaway every Monday. We upload this episode. You have to watch the whole episode in order to figure out how to win. We also do Caption This every Tuesday. We do Mail Day Mondays, Shopping the Greg on Wednesdays, Ask Us Anything. We are also doing a new thing on uh, Instagram for Wednesdays. We upload a Reddit recipe every Thursday. And don't forget, we upload a recipe on the uh, website every Monday as well. And don't forget, we're doing a matador a day. We're giving away a matador a day. Woo! Oh, you got two names, don't you? God, oh, he does. Oh, oh, that's why he makes he big does. bucks, everybody. Because he reminds <laughs> me of that. things that I forget about. It. So, drum roll. Drum roll, everybody. And remind them how they can <sighs> claim their prize when you're done. They need to check their email inbox. Because that's we right. have uploaded an email up in that. We've got all up in them DMs <laughs> with a good email. <laughs> so... Ray, can you announce this? Uh, uh, name Marty me? Anderson. Woo! Hey, Marty! He had some great ones. And then Ron. Is that Will Eddie? Will Eddie. I'm gonna. That's what how I would pronounce yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so Jurgen Gardner, Jeff Barnett, Bradley Kramer, Max Simpson. Max, I've been seeing you out there. Jeremy Muniz, Marty Anderson, Will Eddie, maybe Jeremy Muniz. Check your inbox and your email. Go ahead. <coughs> Uh, Bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. I have some paella in my throat. Check your inbox of your email. Uh, you will be prompted how to claim your prize. And the only way to win is go to rectechgirls.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, put your email uh, to sign up to become an insider. That is the, the only way. And then you'll figure it out from there. I promise. But it was an amazing episode. We did beef plate ribs, beef, right, Chef? Yep, beef plate ribs. We did some fantastic seafood paella. We did some amazing seafood paella. Well, this is beef plate ribs. What is it? All Oscar. Oscar. Yep. That's right. So that's going to be with the uh, Bernays and the crab. Guys, uh, we thank you so much. We got anything else? Anybody else? Guys, do y'all have anything? We're good. We're good. God, I just want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this every Friday. Oh, man, you're it's awesome. It's an honor and a pleasure. Great job. God, I get to do this thank every you, Friday. Every week. But we wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure you go and visit those staff picks. Check out all of those awesome new products uh, that we have uh, to offer for you guys. 
Uh, if you need anything, just hit us up via email. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Give me some bear names. Thank you.